All right, so let me show you what I did with the stars to make a change. Um, the stars came with these strings. So they are shiny gold and they're real thin and I just don't like them. So of course I ripped them off because I'm all about reinventing, right? And I'm more of a twine kind of girl. So here's the twine that I am using. And I have a nice little knot in it. I want to show you how I did that. It's an easy knot. You probably already know how to do it, but let me just show you. So I cut the twine into the sections and I kind of measured with the gold strings that came with the stars, okay? So I cut them all. I've got all 12 cut. All you do is match up the ends. See here I have the two ends matched up. And I'm going to cross them over, make a loop. We all know this kind of thing, right? We know how to tie shoes. And I'm going to take those two ends and I'm going to tuck them through the hole. And then I'm going to hold on to those two ends very tightly because the goal is to get that knot as close to the end as I possibly can. Can you see that? So as I tighten, I'm also going to scooch that knot downward towards the ends of the twine. I just keep tightening slowly with these fingers. You see I have these fingers holding it and I'm using my thumb, my index finger to scooch and scooch. So then you wind up with that. And then when I am going to apply it to the star, and by the way, I'm going to put it in the same place where I ripped out the gold string because a little bit of it looks a little damaged and the knot is going to hide it perfectly. And I want the knot to be on the front. So when I hot glue it, it's going to cover that up just like that. Isn't that going to look cute? I love that so much better than the gold strings. That's just, yeah, that's just handmade looking, isn't it? 